Welcome to the 126th commencement exercises of Thomas College. This is a day of so many emotions, relieved to have successfully completed your work, sad to say goodbye to friends, coaches, faculty, proud of all that you've accomplished, anxious about the future, excited about all the possibilities that lie ahead for you. And I'm sure there's another emotion that is felt by virtually all of the 2020 graduates across this nation. Disappointed. Disappointed that your commencement is being held virtually instead of in person. This is not what you wanted, nor is it what we wanted for you. This is not what you imagined and dreamed of over the past several years, nor is it what the college imagined or dreamed for you. However, the challenges of this current pandemic have led all of us to reimagine our path forward, and all of us have had to embrace this challenge together. The pandemic may have taken away the manner in which we celebrate and honor your accomplishments, but it will never take away or diminish in any way the pride and joy with which we celebrate your accomplishments today. Today we honor you with great joy because you've invested in yourself and earned a degree that will serve as a foundation from which you can launch a great career and a rich and meaningful life. Now that is great reason to celebrate. Congratulations to you and the families that have supported you along this journey. Thank you for tuning in today for phase one of this important ceremony. Before we launch into our event, it is first important to recognize some very special people who have shaped your experience here. While every member of the Thomas community plays an important role to the success of our students, there is none so foundational to that success than our professors. So before we begin with our distinguished speaker and move to the honor of graduating students, we want to take a brief moment to honor some important members of the Thomas community who will be retiring this year. Three faculty members and one staff member. Joe Donato, Assistant Professor of Accounting, joined Thomas College in 2008. Since that time, he's taught and advised hundreds of accounting students, and he's played a pivotal mentoring role for students, especially in terms of helping them secure internships that have launched many, many successful accounting careers in the state of Maine and beyond. Peter Gilbert, in his time at Thomas, which has spanned four decades, Peter has served as an associate professor of accounting. He's been a true Thomas staple and has made a true impact on our H. Allen Ryan School of Business, its programming and success, and the top tier quality of our graduates. Joe Scazzafava known affectionately by the students and staff as SCAWS, joined Thomas in 2005. As a professor of science, Joe has inspired his students by teaching them that learning is fun and brought so much positivity and generosity to our community. And Beth Gibbs, an employee of the college for more than 30 years, has led our college's financial affairs team with a high attention to detail and care that has kept our institution in good financial standing for decades. Beth is also an incredibly wonderful person and her leadership at our college will be greatly missed. And while today is about the success of our students, we would be remiss if we did not acknowledge these individuals who have contributed to that success. Please join me in congratulating them for their accomplishments and thanking them for all that they have done for our college. It is our custom to open the ceremonies with a charge to the graduates from our commencement speaker. 
It gives me great pleasure to introduce our 2020 speaker, Meredith Strang Burgess. Meredith Strang Burgess of Cumberland, Maine, is president and CEO of Burgess Advertising and Marketing, a 32-year-old communications company located in Falmouth. Diagnosed with breast cancer in 1999, she is an active and outspoken advocate for cancer awareness and prevention. She is the past president of the Maine Cancer Foundation and helped create the successful Pink Ribbon Maine Specialty License Plate in 2008. She completed 14 triathlons and has the great honor of being the last finisher at the annual Maine Try for a Cure triathlon that happens every July, the largest single day fundraiser in Maine. In addition, Meredith has served in the Maine House of Representatives and is a dedicated leader and volunteer with numerous organizations, including the Maine Development Foundation, the University of Maine, Hebron Academy, and the Maine Historical Society. She's also served on the boards of the Maine Cancer Consortium, the Maine Public Health Association, and the Portland Ronald McDonald House. Please join me in welcoming Meredith. Hi everyone, and greetings to the faculty, staff, family and friends, and most importantly, you, the graduating class of Thomas College 2020. I'm Meredith Strang Burgess, and although this probably isn't the graduation day that you had envisioned, it may well just cap off the most memorable few months of your lives. I'm sorry that we can't be together in person, but it is just one of the many things that has turned out different than we all planned. In fact, Many of you have already learned the most important part about education and life. They go hand in hand. Every day we learn, every day we flex. A favorite expression of mine is that life happens when you are making other plans. And one's true test of character is how we navigate these life changes. And oh, yes, I'm sorry, but there'll be other times that life will step in and redirect you. But that's okay. You can do this. Just remember, be true to yourself, follow your passion, work hard, give back, and keep in touch with your loved ones. Congratulations on your huge accomplishment. Have a wonderful day wherever you are, and be well. Thank you. Meredith, thank you so very much for sharing your wisdom and guidance. Thomas College has a tradition of inviting students to speak at commencement. Today, we will hear from Stephen Reed speaking for the undergraduate students and Cassandra Contagiani representing the graduate students. Stephen is from York, Maine, graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science degree in communications public relations, and marketing. Stephen has been an outstanding leader, making an impact on nearly every corner of this campus, from the student philanthropy team, Love Your Melon Club, and Special Olympics Club, to representing our school as an orientation leader and a student ambassador. Stephen is already a valued member of our admissions team as an admissions counselor having finished his studies in December of 2019. Welcome, Stephen. Class of 2020, this is not the way I want to be giving the speech, but I'm honored to be your class speaker this year. Since I transferred to Thomas, I've been welcomed with nothing but open arms, from Jack Gallagher being the first student I talked to, and then Kyle Green being the last. There are so many people that I want to thank. My mom, my sister, you guys have given me unconditional love and support, but don't forget that I love you more. To Elise, Meredith, Kyle, Becca, Lauren, Cassidy, Allen, you guys are the best friends that a guy could ever ask for. So thank you. To the faculty and staff, thank you for all you've done to support this class. And from me to the class of 2020, we did it. Thank you, Stephen. 
Representing the graduate division students will be Cassandra Contagiani. Cassie is originally from Belmont, New Hampshire. She graduated with her Bachelor of Science in Sport Management with a coaching minor in May of 2019. And she will be graduating today with her Master of Business Administration degree from our Accelerated Master's Program. Cassie has been a true leader in the community, especially in the world of athletics, as president of the Thomas College Student Athletic Advisory Committee for three years the North Atlantic Conference Student Athlete Advisory Committee Vice President last year and President this year, and the creator of the Special Olympics Club. Welcome, Cassie. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Quite the plot twist this year. However, I hope you're enjoying brunch or something fun while watching. Cheers. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Thank you for everything. I love you guys. And you too, Bozo and Mimi, Cece, Papa, my aunts, uncles, and of course cousins. To say the least, I'm blessed with a big supportive family. Because of that, I knew I needed somewhere that felt like home, and Thomas fit just that. Thomas became not only my home, but our home away from home. Some of us for five years, others four, three, two, or even just one. Some of us only lived less than a mile down the road, and others only went home for the holidays. We all came from different backgrounds, and we all have different stories but now we're all a part of each other's story, even if it's from a Teams, Zoom, or WebEx lecture. Thomas is a community that I initially wanted absolutely nothing to do with. My first time stepping on campus, I was turned off before we even pulled onto campus. This was in 2014 when exit 124 wasn't a thing, and you had to take exit 120. If you've never taken exit 120 before, that's okay. We pulled off the exit and all I saw were cows and I was overwhelmed by the smell of cow manure. I'm from the middle of New Hampshire, and I was looking for new scenery when I was looking at schools. I said, Mom, please, just no. We're turning this car around, and we're driving those three hours back home. Six years later, I'm still here. So coming to Thomas was the greatest decision I could have made. I grew, and I've watched many of you, class of 2020, grow as well. We've grown, we've experienced a roller coaster of events, and by all means, emotions. We learned the perks of having a wheat in class and being offered candy at 8 a.m. and getting that funny look when you say no thank you to Smarties because it's 8 a.m. Borrowing chocolates from Cragen's office to even the Student Success Center bribing us in with new candy each week. We learned something. If you see candy out, game on. Reflecting on my five years, I need a chapter book. But ultimately, the gist of it is to not let the fear of failure stop you and do not let a bump in the road turn you around. I'm a firm believer in that everything comes with a silver lining. Stay true, stay strong, and surround yourself with even better company. And don't forget to smile. It's good for you. Class of 2020, congratulations. Here's to our next chapter. And don't forget, it's always a great day to be a Thomas College Terrier. Thank you, Cassie. Now I am pleased to introduce Faculty Senate Chair and Professor of Sport Management, Dr. Greg King. Greg will be announcing the Thomas Scholar recipients. The Thomas Scholar Award recognizes superior academic achievement at the undergraduate level at the college. This year's award goes to four individuals who all earned the class's top GPA. The 2020 Thomas Scholars are Ryan C. Hablitz, Katrina M. Booth, Samantha Ann Mercier, and Cabot Andrew Lancaster. Ryan Hablitz is from Melrose, Massachusetts. Ryan is graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science degree in secondary education, math. Ryan is a member of the men's cross country and track and field teams and the president of the Alpha Chi Honor Society. Katrina Booth is from Manchester, Maine. Katrina is graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science degree in Secondary Education, English. Katrina is a member of the Alpha Chi Honor Society. She has already landed a job as a teacher after graduation. Samantha Mercier is from Berlin, New Hampshire. Samantha is graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science degree in Criminal Justice. Samantha is a member of the Criminal Justice Club, Student Athletic Advisory Committee, the Terrier Action Club, a resident assistant, and a tennis player, and a captain. She plans to attend law school after graduation. Cabot Lancaster is from Winthrop, Maine. Cabot is graduating summa cum laude with a Bachelor of Science degree in Management. Cabot is a member of the Alpha Chi Honor Society. 
Please join me in celebrating this year's Thomas Scholars. Congratulations. Today, we have some very special guests who would like to congratulate you all. I am pleased to introduce Maine Senator Susan Collins, Maine U.S. Senator Angus King, who is former governor of our state, both of whom have received honorary degrees from Thomas College, and the governor of the state of Maine, Governor Janet Mills, to say a few words to the class of 2020. This is Senator Susan Collins. I'm delighted to congratulate the Thomas College class of 2020. You did it, congratulations. While this may not be the celebration that you envisioned and deserve, this accommodation to the great challenge we face does not in any way diminish your accomplishments. In fact, the resilience and determination you've demonstrated at this difficult time speaks volumes about your character. From a modest beginning in 1894, as a small business school located above a department store, Thomas College has become a leader in preparing students for successful careers in business, technology, and education. For 126 years, this school has advanced Maine's entrepreneurial spirit and its heritage of leadership and service. Your Thomas College education will deliver real value for you your entire life. It is a gift you have given yourself by taking on the challenge of higher education. The faculty, staff, and administration of this university created a close-knit learning community that has been dedicated to your success. Your parents, friends, loved ones have given you the support and encouragement that made this day possible. Let everything you do from this day forward honor their sacrifices and belief in you. And so, graduates, I ask this of you. Please give back to your community and to our great state. Whether at the beginning of your career or later on, Maine needs what you have to offer. Thomas College has prepared you well for the adventures that lie ahead. Let the knowledge and values you've learned here be the compass that always guides you. Again, congratulations and best wishes as you begin this new chapter of your life. Great places in Maine is Thomas College, led by one of the great people in Maine, Lori Lachance. I really appreciate the opportunity to join you for the virtual graduation. This is a year like no other. It's been terrible in many ways, but in some ways it's brought us together in terms of dealing with this terrible situation. You'll remember this graduation because it will be different than any other. But I hope you'll retain the great experience you've had at Thomas, the relationships, the friendships, looking after one another, and particularly keeping in contact during this difficult period. I just want to congratulate the Thomas graduates for what you've achieved, for the work you've done, for the hard work that you've put in over the past four years, and the work that you will do in your communities and in the state of Maine. I hope you're going to stay in the state of Maine in the future. I love what you're doing up there. I love to visit Thomas, and I look forward to coming back when we can all maybe even shake hands again. Great to have a moment with you. Congratulations and warmest best wishes. Godspeed to the Thomas class of 2020. Hi, this is Governor Janet Mills. Congratulations, Thomas College, class of 2020. Congratulations on this graduation, this milestone. I hope you're celebrating this accomplishment with family and loved ones today, safely, of course. You've earned it. These are challenging times for Maine and our, for our nation. I know this is not the graduation you thought you'd have, 
when you started your college education, you had a different version of vision of what it would end up being, but I'm proud of the ways that you and your colleagues have pushed through and succeeded despite these strange and difficult times. Please know that we are all so proud of you, each and every one of you. Your work, your hard work has prepared you to pursue your dreams and I have no doubt that you will do great things, hopefully in Maine. There are many opportunities for you right here. Again, please accept my warmest congratulations and that of the entire state of Maine on your graduation. I can't wait to see what's ahead for all that you achieve in the years to come. Thank you so much, Senator Collins, Senator King, and Governor Mills. We greatly appreciate your presence here today. Congratulations to the class of 2020. There are two key moments for many of us here at Thomas. There's the time we recognize you at the start of your academic career and share the joy with you that comes with this great opportunity to begin your time at Thomas. Then there's the time when we recognize you for all your success and your achievements as you earn your degree. We talk a great deal in higher education about preparing for the future. And this year and this class knows exactly what that means. The future is now upon us. We know it's uncertain, it's certainly disruptive, and it will involve technology. But it will also rely on certain core principles, the value of community, of family, of friends, the value of hard work, persistence, and commitment, and more than anything, the pride that we have for all that you have done and achieved in your time here at Thomas. You are simply a remarkable set of students, and your future, we know, will be very, very bright. For the class of 2020, I want to thank you for the opportunity to have served you, to have worked with you, and to have shared in your success. We're pleased to recognize all of our graduates today. I want to especially thank our speakers, Stephen and Cassie, for their words to our graduates. I'd also like to recognize the marshals chosen by this class. Though we won't have the opportunity today to march into the field house, I still want to acknowledge Pamela Denise Velakas and Troy William Worcester for being elected by their peers to lead them to their commencement. We also want to recognize all of our undergraduate students graduating with honors, students graduating cum laude, with a GPA of at least 3.2 with a gold honors cord. Students with a GPA of at least 3.5 with a red honors cord. And students graduating with a GPA of at least 3.8 with a combined red and gold honors cord. We are especially happy to celebrate these students who semester after semester, year after year, have been able to meet the highest standards of the faculty in the college and who deserve special recognition and honor today. We're happy to celebrate with our veterans at both the undergraduate and the graduate level, and we're happy to celebrate our students in Alpha Chi, our National Honor Society, and our members of JMG with their stoles. You've already heard from Dr. King, who, representing the faculty here at Thomas, was able to recognize the Thomas Scholars awarded by the faculty every year to the undergraduate students graduating each year with the highest cumulative GPA. And finally, let me take a moment to thank the families and friends of our graduates for all of your support and encouragement for your students over their academic career. The faculty and staff at Thomas know that their achievements are possible in part because of the supportive network of family and friends who've helped our students along the way. We know that you have helped provide the hope that has powered them through hard times. You've shown them what it means to stay on course in the face of adversity, what it means to possess focus, courage, and perseverance. You've provided lessons for them on work, on love, on community, on family, and on forgiveness and you provided the heart. For the class of 2020, 
I would tell you that your most, most dedicated, loving, and faithful mentors and teachers are those people around you who have supported you and will continue to support you in all your endeavors down the road. Please join me in thanking them for everything that they've done. And now to our students. Will the candidates for the degrees of Associate in Arts and Associate in Science please rise? Will the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Arts please rise? President Lachance and members of the Board of Trustees, I have the honor of presenting to you these candidates for the degree of Associate in Arts and Associate in Science and the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. As authorized by the faculty at Thomas College, I ask that the degrees now be conferred. Thank you, Provost Edwards. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Maine and the Board of Trustees of Thomas College, I hereby confer upon you the degrees of Associate in Arts and Associate in Science and the degrees of Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Arts with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Business Administration please rise? Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Science in Criminology please rise? Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Science in Cybersecurity please rise? And will the candidates for the degree of Master of Science in Education please rise? President Lachance and members of the Board of Trustees, I have the honor of presenting to you these candidates for the degrees of Master of Business Administration and Master of Science. As authorized by the faculty at Thomas College, I ask that the degrees now be conferred. Thank you, Provost Edwards. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Maine and the Board of Trustees of Thomas College, I hereby confer upon you the degrees of Master of Business Administration and the Master of Science with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Will all the undergraduate students please move your tassels from the right to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you the class of 2020. Each year, it is my distinct privilege to share some final words of thanks, of congratulations, and of farewell. But today, before we say our final congratulations and goodbyes, I'd like to take you back in time, back to when you were a child, and the adults in your life would ask the age-old question, what do you want to be when you grow up? You grow up through time, and then comes high school, and again the questions came. Where do you want to go to college? What do you want to major in? What do you want to do with your life? What do you want to be when you grow up? Some of you are very clear on where you're heading with your career and life, and that's great. Others really don't know exactly the course they want to take. There are so many options and so many interests. That's OK, too. A couple of years ago, I gave a talk on finding your purpose in life. And I admitted that I never really figured out what I wanted to be when I grew up until I came here. And I was 51 years old. So it took me a long time. As we are growing up, we focus on what we want to be. But I've grown to understand that the more important question is who you want to be. Thomas has always been a very special place that absolutely transforms lives. So as you consider who you'd like to be, I'd like to suggest that you be Thomas College to the world. Let's spell out the word Thomas to get some guidance on who we should be. T, be thankful. Consciously find something to be thankful for in every day, 
every experience, every person you encounter. One step towards being happy, truly happy in life, no matter what your circumstance, is to cultivate a grateful heart. H, be honest. Always, always, always be honest with others and with yourself. Integrity is your single greatest career and personal asset. O, be open. In a knowledge-based, technology-driven economy, our world is changing very rapidly. Whereas my father had one job at one company his whole life, I'm in my fourth major career, and the experts say that you, graduating today, will have an average of 10 different jobs before you're 40 years old, and at least 14 in your lifetime. To survive and thrive in this kind of economy, you'll have to be open to change, open to opportunities as they arise, and open to constantly learning and growing throughout your lifetime. M, be motivated. Over the past few years, you have balanced college, work, sports, clubs, and for our masters and continuing education graduates, families. You've shown the world how motivated you are to succeed in reaching your goals. Thomas graduates are known for being highly motivated possessing that can-do attitude that will serve you so well. A, be accepting. Throughout your lifetime, you will encounter people who will come from all different backgrounds, beliefs, and experiences. Embrace the differences and welcome them into your world. It will enrich your life more than you could ever possibly imagine. S, be strong. Life will throw you curveballs. There will be both ups and downs along the journey. Sometimes you may taste failure. We all fail at some point in life. In those times of challenges, dig deep. Know that you are loved and supported, and you will get through this. Be Thomas College to the world. Thankful, honest, open, motivated, accepting, and strong. There's no time ever in our history where the world needs you more than they do right now. Finally, as you consider who you want to be, remember to simply be yourself. Each and every one of you has a unique gift to bring to the world. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of where you came from. Be proud of all that you have and will accomplish. Everyone here today is proud of you and we have every faith that you will succeed in the years ahead. As I look back over my own graduation, I realize it was far less of an ending and more a beginning. You stand there today at the threshold and you hold in your hands, heads, and hearts tremendous potential and opportunity. You can do anything. You can go anywhere and you can be whoever you want to be. My prayer for you is that you'll use this gift you've been given, a great education, and you'll go forth like generations of Thomas graduates before you and truly make a difference in this world. And so to you, the graduates of Thomas College's class of 2020, and to your families who have nurtured and supported you, and to the professors coaches, staff, and community members who have invested in you, instructed you, challenged you, and inspired you, I offer my sincere congratulations. Best wishes to all. Thank you all for tuning in today so we could celebrate you and all of the hard work that you've put in, and to celebrate and honor your families and friends who have supported you on this journey. It is my deepest hope that we will be able to celebrate your commencement together here at Thomas College in the fall. Congratulations all. Hello class of 2020 and congratulations. 
My name is Sarah Jane Call, a proud member of the class of 2019 and an alumna volunteer with the Graduates of the Last Decade program, also known as GOLD. As a recent graduate, I know how exciting and nerve-wracking this time in your life can be. You have plenty of opportunity ahead of you, so now is not the time to be worried or nervous, but to be courageous. Just know you have so many people and terriers rooting for you. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm Joshua Wing of class of 2018 and also a gold program volunteer. Being a Thomas College alumni means that I get to continue making memories, meeting new people, and creating opportunities within the community that I love so much. We just wanted to say welcome to the alumni family and remember graduating from Thomas means being a terrier for life. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We are all so proud of your hard work. Congratulations, you guys, you did it. Congratulations, class of 2020, on all your accomplishments. Good luck in the next chapter of your life. Congratulations, Thomas College, class of 2020. Way to go, Terriers. Congratulations, class of 2020. Good luck on all your future endeavors. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. Hi, class of 2020. Congratulations. I'm Blaine Guido, member of class of 2016, in 2017 and a member of the GOLD program. Graduation is a time to celebrate all of your accomplishments. Each of your lives is going to be filled with tremendous opportunities and experiences after your time at Thomas College. And as you move into the workforce, remember to celebrate each of your successes, no matter how large or how small. Congratulations, class of 2020. All right, class of 2020. I'm Shelby Watson. I'm a gold volunteer and a proud member of the classes of 2016 and 2017, and I'm here to wrap things up. The last four years have helped shape you in many ways. Between the people you've met, the opportunities you've had, and the skills you've learned, you are destined for success. Those opportunities, people, and services are always at your fingertips as an alum even after today. You all should be incredibly proud of your accomplishments because all of us are. So, congratulations, and remember, this isn't the end, it is just the beginning. <laughs>